It's nice and sunny today, and today's exciting video. Ooh, roof crossbars. So we've already done the video for fitting these roof rails, the one that go front to back. I'll model them here, look beautifully. Ooh. And George will do the little pointy thing. Do the little pointy thing, George. And we'll put the video for that. We've already done that. But that's not today's video. Today's video is this lovely crossbar here that goes on that you can then put things across and stuff. And we'll have a look at this. We'll show you how to fit these. We'll show you some exciting stuff about them. Yes. Right. Come on, let's have a look. So I've got one here. So fundamentally, this is what you've got here. We'll open up a box. We found them. Land Rover only sold them in silver. Why would they do that, George? Why only silver? They sell the, the rails in black and silver, but the crossbars only silver. They're a bad company. They're a bad company. You, you, George, you'll get us done for defamation of Land Rover. <laughs> Youth of today, no respect. Right, let's get on. So we are going to fit these. Yes. Now, fundamentally, you can see here, we can work this out. There's a little, this is going to grip. So this is going to push against the inside and this is going to, and what you've got is you've got some keys. And when you turn the key to a sort of horizontal position, like so, the cover should slide off and we can see how that works look because on here you see vertical horizontal and then that goes into that little slot there the little lock goes in and then when it's in it twists you can see it's got a little sort of gap around the back and that loves it and that's what locks that cover on and there's a little guide here and that guide goes into this top rail there and that locates the top like so but we'll see that later but that's how that slides off and pull that off. Right, and then, and you'll see when we open the other box, look, they've put a little, a little Easter egg in the bottom for us. They've given us the little Allen key. Now, I don't know how genuine one comes. I'm hoping they're equally as good. They come with a funny looking tool, actually. And what you can do here is you can wind what we're gonna do. We're gonna wind this in. And if you watch there, George, from sort of back there a little bit, well, not, not all the way back there, but we should start to see this little, this little bit come in, look. Right, you see him coming in there, George? Whoop. He's slowly, but he's getting there. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for, yeah. So that clamps that, and that clamps the bar. So you got to tight. Now, the other thing we'll have to do when we're on the roof, but I'll show you here because it's easier, is they're not going to be the perfect length. When we get them, we're going to go, oh, look. And what you've got to do is you can undo that. Just loosen it. You don't need to undo it all the way. And what that gives us is that allows that. It doesn't slide wildly, but it slides enough. But watch this top bit here. This caught me out earlier. I thought, oh no, I can't get my Allen key in. But, but that is quite loose. You can wiggle that back a little bit. But so, that, And if you do that on each end, but we'll do the full fitting, but I'm just showing you how it works now. Right, also in the box, obviously you get two of these, you get this bit of rubber. So if you look at the end shape there now, we did try threading it in, didn't we, George? We thought, well, we'll go in from one end and we'll thread it in. And it, it is kind of possible to do that. But the other way to do it is you can actually put it... You can actually... Let's have a... I did manage to, to just squidge it in from the top by working it in, pushing a little bit from that side, then a little bit from that side, then a little bit from that side, then a little bit from that side, OK? Now... This rubber comes a bit long, you can see. And what we'll do is we need to cut it. Now, when you have these covers on, these covers cover past this bolt hole. The rubber only needs to be from here across. Now, you may not need the rubber because why is it got a rubber? Why is it got a slot? If you look from this end, you can see there's a little slot here. Now, what you can get is you could get some fixings from Land Rover or other places which is like a square nut and you fire that in and it can slide along here and then you can bolt things to it so it gives you a fixing point so any of the Land Rover accessories you can fit to this rail because you can put the square nut in and that gives you a captive nut to fit now obviously you can't have the nut and the rubber or you could I guess slice the rubber the rubber's there so that if you put a plank of wood or something across the top it's going to rest on that and give a nice non-rattly, non-scratchy surface and not scratchy bars. So there you go, so you've got the rubber thing going on there now. Right, I'm 
I'm sounding like QVC channel now. It's terrible, isn't it? Right. Let's have a look. So this is the black one. So George and I open the silver one so that we half can pretend we know what we're doing. Right? But this is this is what you get in a kit. Right. Contents may vary. Right then. So surprise, surprise. This is the black one. We haven't seen the black one, yet, haven't we? No. What finish would you call that, George? Matte? Semi sheen? It's not it's gloss, not, is it? No. It's Semi somewhere sheen. between. Somewhere in the middle. Between gloss. No, not gloss, but. Not matte, but. Somewhere between gloss and matte. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How many keys have we got, George? So we've got. We've got, we've got two keys. There you go. And we've got two bars. Now, are these bars the same size? They're the same length, aren't they? Yeah. Now, Land Rover, in the genuine instructions, they're waffling on about something that, that you can you can take one of these covers off. Remember, we've got to get it horizontal to take it off. He says, right. And then and then slide it. Don't, because you've got to slide it out that way. Right. Oh, he's fighting me. I think those little plastic bits are fighting me a little bit. On the genuine instructions, they say that they've got something written here about which side the bar is but ours doesn't i can't see for the life of me that these are sloped in any way i've tried fitting one end on the other george and i have, have, have we've tried everything but we can't see that the roof bar should go on that way or that way if you see what i mean i can't see a difference if you can spot one let me know i couldn't see but double check everything that seems perfectly square and perpendicular to me right that's maybe right so what you got to do before you fit these so the first thing you got to do is take both covers off you can't take the key out with it in the horizontal position you can only take it out which i guess is to stop you leaving them on the car unlocked because then they would fall off right so you can take that back about land over being rubbish george see clearly they got some smart people there even if they don't like the color black right don't say anything. Right. Okay. We like we're gonna put the black ones on here because we think it'll look better than the silver. Right, so you've got that undone. Right, look, sure enough, we get our three B little Allen key. Taped slightly differently this time. So don't throw the box away. No instructions though. That's why you need this video. Right. Alright, let's loosen that one. Okay, I'm only need to loosen it. That's me. Right, one other thing I am going to show you before we get up on the roof. Right, these are not blue. Well, they are blue, obviously. You can see they're blue, but they're not meant to be blue. They've obviously bought the stainless steel with some plastic coating on it. So I've used this little knife here, and without scratching the stainless, i I got to try and... I'm not doing a good job, am I, Joy? You can peel back this plastic layer, but it was kind of annoying. It would have kind of been better if they'd have just not bothered, I think. But, and then when you get to the edge, it, it, it's, oh, there you go. You can just about, I was struggling earlier, and I had to use the, I had to use that craft knife to, to get in. It's a, it's a good job I've got all the time in the world with this lockdown, isn't it, John? Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Right. Are we bored of watching that yet? Oh look, that's not too bad, is it? There you go. Right, so there's a little bit of... Because, yeah, can you see there's a little bit left in here? I got a bit annoyed with it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to have to get that in there. So there we go. Have fun getting that blue stuff out. Right, we're all ready then. Right, let's go and try and put this on the... Now, we've, we've parked the car in the shade, haven't we, George? So hopefully we're not too exposed here. Do you want to go round the other side, George, and see how it sort of clips on and help me a little bit? Whoa. Right. So we can get one side on. All right, that's it. And we can get this side here clipped over. Now, you, you want to get the this bar centrally spaced between the two, um, which looks like it's fairly close to its maximum on the front right and you want to make sure you've got it about square so that looks about right 
Right, and then what you can do, you should see this, this little one on the inside clamp up now, George. Can you see that moving? From back there, probably can. Not really. Not really. They can zoom in at home. <laughs> It's hard to zoom on YouTube. Can you actually do it? I've never worked out. No, no you can't. can't. Remember, George, shaking your head on video doesn't work <laughs> when you're behind the camera. No one can see you. Right. Right, get a bit closer on this side, George. Let's have a look. So, again, we can call it. you can come a bit closer, George. And you can see that inner, that inner sort of whatever it's called, pull, grippy thing, plate. Move closer, so. Right, again, I'll put the genuine fitting instructions for these in the description below. Down there, ish. Look, George, the top tip. Don't wear a zippy hoodie when you're doing this, because you're going to scratch your paintwork. There we go. Get one of those. That, have you never noticed, George? You get really nice overalls, they cover the buttons. The buttons have got, like, the poppers have got... Uh, covered in fabric. So really? Yeah. Wow. Right then. You're not really bothered, are you? <laughs> no. Right then. Right, so that's that done, right? And then what you've got to do is now you can tighten those little ones up on the top there. If you can find them. There you go. So tighten that on. Right. Like so. Right, now I can tighten that. I can tighten that top one on this side now. Right, so we're all good now. Now, rubber strip. So again, there's two ways of doing it. I should have done this before, perhaps, really. But we did manage to feed it in before, didn't we, George? Yeah. It's not too bad. And let me slide that along a bit, that bit that's done. I'll cover both ways there. So that's the slidey way, but you can also do the pressy way as well, which is... You sort of got to press one half in, and then the other half in. Okay, now when you got there, you'll notice it's too long. So what you get, grab some scissors and cut it, but cut it just past... I've nicked the camera, I've tried just past the screw hole there okay so you just want to so you can still access the screw okay if you cut it any longer you can't get the covers on it cuts pretty easy with the scissors all right get the rest of that in actually let me finish this george no one wants to watch me scurrying in right so when you've squeezed your rubber all back it's time to put your, again, make sure you've got that horizontal, the key horizontal. And what you've got to do is make sure that bit is, and it should, it should guide itself on, but make sure you've got it square. Oh, he says, it sort of clips around. And then that goes in. And then that all clips in nicely. Take that off. Don't forget to take your blue bit off. Uh, I'll go and fit that cap on the other side. And then George will do a little show. So you can see the two bars. Right, hold on. What did Land Rover say now? So there's something about the maximum weight you can put on your car. And they say it's 75 kilograms. But of course, it's not only the weight of the car of the things pushing down. It's the wind loading. If you had a big empty box on it, it wouldn't weigh much. But the wind loading, if you were doing 70 miles an hour, would be quite a lot. So when you're using these, do be sensible. Think about the wind loading you are going to have. Um, the other thing is, they go on that if you put these bars, may disrupt the antenna reception at the back because you've got the roof area at the back there and it may cause some, or your load may cause some interruption for your sat nav signal. So you might not know where you are, but you might be carrying something on your roof. Um, what else did they go on about? I think that was about it. Um, right, let's fit this on, George. Enough wobbling. Here we go. Come around this side. And get the key in. Now, the genuine bars, crossbars, do come with a nice little sack that you can store them in. Right, why isn't that? Uh, that's how not to put it on. Why is that not going on? 
Now when I find it wasn't going on before, it was the rubber was just a little bit too long. Let me see if I've got him now. That's it. Which way are we turning? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? He's fighting me. He looks like he's on there, doesn't he? Maybe not. There you go, clockwise to release. Um, what was I saying, George? I forgot. I remember we were talking about the sack. So, really, these these are aerodynamic. They have given you this sort of aerofoil-ish design, but you will get wind noise from these. So it's not really advisable to travel with them with nothing on for extended periods of time. You will get a bit of wind noise and you will get some slightly reduced fuel economy. Um, and we don't want that, do we, George? Because we like fuel economy. Mm. Right. Um, so, unfortunately, the aftermarket kit doesn't come with a nice sack. They gave you a nice sort of fabric sack that you could put them in and store them in your boot. Um, this kit doesn't come with that, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, and the other thing is, store your keys in a safe place. Ah, oh, that's the other thing. There's loads of things. You'd think the video would be dead easy for the crossbar on. Roof height. You will be higher not such a problem with an evoke but on other vehicles when you put the roof bars on you um you can't get into multi-story car parks and stuff but i think you'll be all right with the evoke it's not really unless you've got like a really low garage door or something but be aware that fitting and if you look at the general in, the genuine instructions below it will tell you what your new roof height is and the last point is these crossbars are the same for cars with and without a sunroof there's no difference if you've got the panoramic roof. Um, it's the same rails. It's only the finisher strips if you watch that video. So you can use these with or without a panoramic roof. That is it. All done. Everything I know about crossbars.